week, the nation celebrates the volunteering week. I personally want to thank all our One Vision volunteers who have given their time and their effort to help others. In fact, last 14 months we have delivered hundreds of thousands of fresh meals, grocery bags and you have come and tirelessly worked in One Vision. I have seen some of them has given more than 10,000 hours volunteering at One Vision. Thank you so much. And I'm sure that our trustees and our board will be thanking you too. On this week, I want to assure that we are family. Together, we can do a lot. Thank you so much and I'm looking forward to work and get to know you even more. Thank you. Finding that, you know, how we worked with the volunteers. And I have joined up with uh, Nemo and Noma. This is few of our volunteers here. And also with Dean Russell. Dean is the Member of Parliament for Watford. And also he's a trustee for One Vision. Uh, Dean, you have been coming here regularly. Would you please talk about our volunteers, how compassionate they are, and what brought them here to volunteers? Well, I have to say thank you to you, Enoch, thank you to the whole team at One Vision, and especially to the volunteers. You know, I, I came here first time uh, to volunteer, probably around January, February last year, because in fact, February, which is when the, the uh, pandemic sadly was starting to um, uh, become a reality and we realised the impact of it. And um, over, the, over the year, I was pretty much here every Saturday, probably more often than that at times. And what I saw were teams of volunteers coming, people who perhaps were struggling themselves at times, but coming to help others. And I think the power of the, how Watford and the community came together was just immense, but that was through the power of volunteering. And I think the, the real power for me was the, the spirits that we'll get through this, we'll get through this together and we'll support each other. Um, I've often said that as a, uh, as a Member of Parliament, in my first year as an MP, I delivered more bags of shopping than I did leaflets, which is quite unusual when you're talking about politicians. Uh, but the reason being was that actually I was inspired by the work of One Vision. I was inspired by how people came together, how businesses came together, how we were supporting each other. And actually being able to go out and help people on the ground and see them face to face, going have a chat at the doorstep uh, within the, the COVID regulations allowing us to do so, meant a massive difference because actually what it meant was it wasn't just as feeding their, their their stomachs and helping them support them that way. It, it was feeding them spiritually, it was feeding their soul in many ways, and feeding um, feeding a trust and a support. Because for many people, they were isolated, they were lonely, they were struggling, uh, and actually knowing that someone would who didn't even know them was coming to knock on their door, coming to check that they were okay. That, that volunteering ethos of helping others was just immense. And so thank you to all of you for the work that you were doing to make that happen. Thank you, thank you, Dean. And also, uh, we can't have all 60 to 70 volunteers, they actively volunteer our One Vision. However, we joined with a couple of our volunteers. Nemo, you have been volunteering at One Vision. And in fact, you are actually running a day at One Vision. How do you feel about what makes you to volunteer? Okay, for me, as Dean says, for my personal uh, life volunteer, just retired after a full time job after 46 years of working, and One Vision has given me uh, a real boost that there is a purpose in life, there is something to look forward to. I've made really good friends, and I run the hub on Thursdays, which is interesting, uh, which is making me really get up in the morning on a Thursday morning to say, Yes, I have. Thank you so much, Nima. I'm sure that you are enjoying when you give to people. Uh, no, but I, I have been seeing many years here in Sandra Park Church, and you're an amazing lady. You, uh, you have dedicated your knowledge in the centre. So, what is your thing during the COVID?
Okay. Thank you. On behalf of, uh, I would like Dean to say as well, on behalf of One Vision Team, the executive and the trustees, that I would like to say thank you, Neema, thank you, Norma, thank you all the volunteers for your dedication and uh, your determination to come and volunteer. That shows how much you care about others. Dean, I'm sure that you will join with me to say thank you, Neema. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Enoch, as well, for, for leading the way with all of this. I think the, um, the, the thanks is it, it isn't expressed enough. A you. massive thank you to all the volunteers who volunteer and take their time out to volunteer at One Vision to help provide meals and grocery bags for those around Watford. It's really nice to see young people getting involved and helping those who need it the most. Um, and it's great to see young people helping out as well. Thank you.